Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and we're going to talk about fluoride today. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's, for, by the way, living in Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan was the first city in the United States to have fluoridated water. So the CDC has said that community water fluoridation has been one of the 10 best public health achievements in the 20th century. And certainly, it has done a lot of good for a lot of people. There's a lot less cavities around because when fluoride is incorporated into the tooth structure of developing teeth, it makes the teeth more resistant, more immune to developing cavities. Also, sometimes fluoride can be applied in the dental office, and in the dental office, in a concentrated form, it can even be a benefit to adults. And fluoridated toothpaste may be of some benefit to adults also in the fact that it's concentrated and it's there for a short period of time and may help to minimize decay and perhaps root sensitivity. So we know that it's good as far as reducing cavities is concerned. That's very important. But you know what's really interesting is recently the CDC, and this is recent, said that 40% of young children who are using fluoridated toothpaste, and most toothpaste they're using is fluoridated, are using too much fluoridated toothpaste. So what happens is when they use too much, these young children end up ingesting some of the toothpaste. So when they ingest the fluoridated toothpaste combined with the fluoridated water, then it can actually cause problems with the teeth. They can get what's called fluorosis, which means it can cause spots on the teeth, it can cause uh, aesthetic problems with the teeth. If it's severe, it can cause pitting and actually loss of enamel. So now they're recommending that very, very, very little toothpaste, just barely, let, perhaps less than a drop, be used for young children because they're going to end up ingesting some. And if they ingest it and the water is fluoridated, it can cause fluorosis or problems with the teeth. Now, fluoridated water doesn't necessarily benefit adults. It only really is of significant benefit while the teeth are developing in young children. Once those teeth are fully developed and the fluoride is incorporated in the teeth, it's not going to do much of anything for adults. Two communities in Alaska stopped fluoridating their water, and when they did, the decay rate in children did go up. So it does help prevent cavities. What other issues might be of concern with fluoride in the water, particularly excessive fluoride? Well, it's absorbed by the pineal gland as much as it is by the bones, and can that have an effect on the pineal gland? Possibly. It also can have an effect on the thyroid gland so that if a lot of it is absorbed, it may inhibit the functioning of the thyroid gland to some extent. So overall, is it helpful for adults to have fluoridated drinking water? Well, I don't know. I'm not a really a fan of having the government introduce chemicals or other agents that they consider therapeutic into my drinking water unless it sterilizes the water, like chlorinating the water, which that is very important to do. But other than that, you know, it does help with cavities, but as an adult, I don't know that I want to be drinking water that has fluoride added to it for myself. See, what's, here's what's interesting. The, C, the, the CDC said it was one of the greatest advances in public health measures in the 20th century. Mm -hmm. But now in the 21st century, they're finding that kids are using it to, ex to an excessive degree mm -hmm. and are getting fluorosis of the teeth, which they never mentioned before. Mm. So it's like, okay, here they're saying it's great. Now they're saying it can be a problem if the kids are using fluoridated toothpaste. The good is we know that it can help prevent cavities. The bad is if it's overdone, it can cause fluorosis of the teeth. The ugly is 
sometimes those teeth that have fluorosis can actually be pretty ugly, which is probably why a number of people who are very conscious of what they're consuming are now drinking bottled water that may not have any fluoride in it. At any rate, that's my take on fluoride. The important thing is keep a healthy mouth. You will have a healthier body. Check our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'll try to keep you updated on everything that's going on and have a great day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.